Uh, early when we was talking, you was talking about the uh, your uh, Buck and Bull Academy. Explain that to us. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. Well, you know, just like within in any business, or I consider myself to be a you know a businessman. You know, if you see something kind of you know lacking in your business, or if you want to increase something, or just kind of come up with an idea, mm -hmm. you know, I come up with what I call. Uh, a Bull Academy. Okay. And what Bull Academy is very similar to like if you had a rope horse that you wanted to send to a, you know, a trainer Train, or to okay. a roper for right. 30 or 60 days. Okay. And sure enough, we've been, you know, pretty effective so far. You know, people have come to me with some of the bulls that are on the PBR Velocity mm -hmm. Tour that are, you know, really bad in the chute and, you know, turning over, alligating on the bottom. Yeah. And then what I basically do is just, uh, you know, bring these bulls in and I mean, myself and some of the riders you see out there, we just kind of get on them and mess with them every day yeah. and just kind of get them acclimated to, to being and going through the rhythm of the buck and shoot. I mean, at the end of the day, they're they're all, you know, methodical type animals. So if you just kind of get them in a routine, right. you know, they'll get used to it. And then I believe with those with those bulls, it's not that we have a, a special talent. It's just that we have the time to implement the routine, right. you know, into right. it. So right. uh, it's been pretty effective so far. I've had maybe about... Close to 20 bulls really? uh, to come yeah, through the yeah. academy, you know, already. Yeah, yeah. And uh, even some bulls that were so good in the academy that people decided to just keep them with me and I just haul them down the road. Awesome, so. awesome. Because that's the thing, if, if that animal, and, and, and back to my first point where a guy goes in and he thinks he's going to, you know, I'm going to be a trainer, it takes time, it takes patience. And if, if a guy doesn't have that and, and, and at the level with the PBR, right. Cody's going to tell you, Hey, it's t you're wasting TV time. Right. He let you know we can't get out on him, and and then you don't get you right. don't get you don't get to come back. Yeah, you you definitely you definitely have to have a uh, you know chic etiquette. You know, and and not only just for you know for Cody purposes, uh, for you know these are competition bulls. We're yeah. paying entry fees. Yeah. And yeah. if you can't get out on your bull or if your bull is just kind of erratic and the, and the rider decides that he doesn't want him, yeah. you know, you basically lose your, you know, lose yeah. your entry fee. Right. So you kind of want to be in tune with that bull. Uh -huh.